during that stretch. As for the Falcons, leading scorer number 34, Ryan Swan, at nearly 12 points per game. He'll be the five, yet he's 6'7", and he'll have quite the test today going up against Teske and company. And the opening tap is controlled by Michigan underway here in Ann Arbor. And Air Force understanding they're giving up a significant amount of size, going to mix things up defensively. A little bit of a matchup zone being employed here early on by the Falcons. Xavier Simpson, second of the Big Ten in assists. And now the aforementioned Matthew. Shot clock is under 10. Brasdakis from the wing for three. Rattled out, and the rebound comes down to the Falcons. Pavel Scott, co-captain. Along with Purvis, uh, Purvis Lauder, rather. The only senior on this Air Force roster. You see a lot of Princeton concepts here offensively for the Air Force Falcons. A lot of movement away from the basketball, cutting, screening, just probing, looking for some kind of defect in the Michigan defense. And so far, one has not been forthcoming. Or to shoot, Air Force, and now a steal. Air Force turned it over 19 times. Last time the Falcons played was two weeks ago. Pull for three. And that's one and done. Rebound comes down to Caleb Morris. 19 total turnovers in that loss versus Army. And I tell you what, it led to 23 points off those turnovers. That was a big reason, the fact that they were not able to hold on to a significant halftime lead. It was a 17-point halftime lead two weeks ago. And Army won by five. Two possessions, two turnovers, no. Shot clock did not reset. And now Lauder underneath with three. The baby hook, no. Lauder was worried about the shot blocker there in Teske. He kind of flipped it up there rather than shoot it. Bull will fake. Baseline, and was he on the baseline? He was. And the Falcons, basket. And there is John Beeline chatting with him before the game earlier today. He said it's key that his team finds its edge again defensively. Despite the fact that Michigan beat Western Michigan by eight, was unhappy with the way that his team played defensively, specifically against the guard play. And Michael Flowers put up 31 points in that loss on Saturday. And they did struggle, especially in terms of the recent defensive standard. But, Corey, I think that's a game three years ago that the Broncos would have been able to come in here and win because they outshot Michigan from the floor. They were able to get some open shots. But because of the defensive prowess, Michigan was able to grind out a win against a very motivated Western Michigan squad. Looking for Sid Tom, 6'4 junior from Woodbury, Minnesota. Just east of St. Paul. First points today. Here's Matthew. That's a three. Teske the tip. And Lowder able to run it down for the Falcons. And here comes the senior attacking off the glass. No, tipped around. And now Simpson can come. Rosdake is slashing contact and a foul. Blocking foul. Whistled on the Falcons. And this will be on Caleb Morris. Now we saw John Beeline and the Falcons are coached by a name and a face that should be familiar to Michigan fans. Dave Bilipovich. Now it is seventh year. Bilipovich was a part of Tommy Amaker's staff here at Michigan 2005 to 2007. And was briefly on John Beeline's staff before he left for the Air Force Academy in 2007. He was an assistant there for a number of years before assuming the head post in Colorado Springs. We really enjoyed our conversation with him earlier today. And the last play in transition by Michigan was really impressive by Brasdakis, the way he was able to run the floor. Good court vision by Simpson found him on that left wing. But Brasdakis took the proper angle. He didn't run in a straight line. He rounded out his cut. That provided a better passing angle for Simpson. Vegas averaging 16 points per game, second best scoring freshman of the Big Ten. Underneath, good looking find for Ryan Swan. Really nice job by Swan of understanding he was taking Teske up the lane. Teske just instinctually wanted to take away that cut. He sensed it, then dove back against the pressure. Shooting almost 60% from the field. And a close look and connected with the Falcons the lead. This defense is giving Michigan some problems. Not a lot of ball movement. Notice how the ball is just kind of sticking here. Rosdake is for three from the corner. Speaking of sticking, he stuck the corner three. That's his first made three since the second half against Northwestern. It's 
Michigan by one. Louder kicks it out. Morris for three. That's way off. Swan the rebound. Louder leaving it for Swan and a foul. Unselfish passing underneath from the Falcons and free throws upcoming for Ryan Swan. Well, Air Force defensively has been pretty stout. They've been able to get situated defensively. But here on the offensive end of the floor in a scramble situation, you draw two good court awareness and Air Force will go to the line. Now this has not been an area of strength for the Falcons thus far, only 67% on the year. Yeah, really the same could be said too oh, yes. for Michigan as a team. The Wolverines 12th in the Big Ten at 65% from the free throw line. And asking Dave Filipovich to shoot around today about Swan and the challenge he will have against Teske today. Doesn't go up against too many seven footers. And Simpson, the Wolverines break. Press. I guess to your point, Corey, he could just pretend that Teske's a, a tower. Delivers the miss down the tower. <laughs> That's right. Delivers the miss down low. As Teske comes out. Isaiah Livers, sophomore, out for the first time. Michigan, one of five from the field so far. Forced by one with the ball. Oh, that's bad pass. That's just an unforced error. Turnover number two, now Matthews. Rosegas, other side of the floor. Oh, spun out. Three-point shot, at least in the first half against Western Michigan on Saturday, did not fall. It was one of eight to begin that game from three. And up seven of 18. Now a strip and a foul. Reach. And Matthews picks up number one. Nearly five minutes gone by in Ann Arbor. Air Force up by one early on BTN. A true winner doesn't seek only the title. Yark and Charles Matthews coming off a double-double performance last time out. They can beat you inside. They can beat you from behind the arc. But so far, and over the last two years in particular, it's been this end of the floor defensively where they've really been able to hang their hat. And right on cue, turnover number three, forced by Michigan. Wolverines offensively one of six from the field to start. Have you seen the matchup zone that... Falcons thought they would play early on today. Yeah, and it, it's kind of given Michigan some trouble. You know, you don't see the swift ball movement. They've been kind of staying that the ball has stuck for long periods of time. Look for Michigan over the next few possessions, Corey, to start to attack off the dribble and get that defense moving rather than allowing the defense to kind of dictate what they want to do on that end before. Eli Brooks on the floor for the first time for Michigan. Some subs for Air Force as well. Chris Joyce, number five, sophomore from Jacksonville. Now in the paint, hanging, rolling, and scoring. Lavelle Scotty, averaging 12 points per game. Scotty had a double double last time out for the Falcons in that losing effort versus Army. 17 points, 15 boards. His first career double double. He led Air Force in scoring last year. Team that won 12 games. Falcons out of the Mountain West Conference, selected to finish 10th in the preseason standings. Simpson, tough feed. Dacus couldn't hang on, and a timeout called by the Falcons. So Air Force will have it. And let's take a look at this message from Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire and the official hiring partner of the Big Ten Conference. Hiring delays were causing work to pile up. That's not smart. But you know what is smart? Using ZipRecruiter. They find people with the right skills, education, and experience for my job and actively invite them to apply. So I got qualified candidates fast. No wonder ZipRecruiter is rated number one by employers in the U.S. ZipRecruiter, official hiring partner of the Big Ten Conference. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash Big Ten. It'll be Air Force ball when play resumes. 13.46 to go. Michigan trailing by three. Wolverines one of seven. For the field one of six from three. John Beeline as he looks on here. Team down by three early on. A start that's kind of reminiscent of an earlier game from Michigan at home versus Holy Cross. A similar type of style. 
you know, the, the Princeton type of style. You want to keep the score low, and Michigan got off the slow start there as well. And Jay Walker off the glass. Freshman from San Antonio. And you can see as the Falcons were retreating defensively, kind of the bounce in their step. Bull tries again. That three doesn't go. Offensive rebound from Livers. Now Brooks resets. 6 0 Air Force run. And there's that dribble. What that does, Corey, is it forces the defense to collapse. And that provides opportunities. That's not the guy necessarily you want shooting the ball, especially when he didn't catch it in rhythm. But the ability and willingness to attack off the dribble. Look for more of that from Michigan offensively. Simpson now 8 of 28 from 3. And now another steal, a turnover in transition. Simpson feeding Brooks. That's where Michigan shines. And a nice job by Michigan defensively, Corey, of honoring the scouting report put forth on Air Force. They know that those backdoor courts are coming. You have to open up and see the ball. As a result, the steal leads to a transition. First two-point field goal Michigan's made so far in this game. Down by three. Scotty has it poked away by Cole for to shoot. Stay with Falcons. Michigan able to create offense out of their defense. Watch opening up. That's a great job by Simpson of understanding that the back door is cutting. You open up, able to see the ball. Now, a better pass might have led Air Force to the basket, but Simpson did a really good job of taking it away. And now a shot clock violation. Get it back to Michigan. And you mentioned the Princeton offense. Certainly a tentacle of that is the familiar backdoor cut. Scouting there from Sophomore Xavier Simpson seeing that pass. Especially opening up, being able to see ball you and man. And as soon as that guy dives, if someone dribbles at a teammate, it's an automatic dive. Simpson saw that, opened up. That allowed him not just to deflect it, but to corral it and lead to the two-on-one opportunity. Falcons mentioned how turnover prone they have been. That's four turnovers last six possessions. Vegas draws two defenders and nice find and feed Jordan Poole. Good job by Poole of actually coming from behind the defender. Lost sight of him and Good location by Brasdakis, and that's the second time they've opened up on that backdoor cut. Brasdakis runs it down, bothered, blocked, no whistle, poke free, and the Falcons have it. Defense there from Keaton Van Solen. That one is kicked away. Save the Falcons when we come back. Well, points have been kind of hard to come by for periods of time by Michigan, but their willingness to share the ball never wavers. Their leading score, finding Jordan Poole, Air Force up one. This is not your standard day it, for Division I athlete. Basketball is probably the easiest part of the cadets' day. And, you know, as we watch these guys come out here and compete, it's humbling when you think about what they've committed to do. Really remarkable. One point Michigan lead. So the last eight possessions, six turnovers. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. That's been a real problem for Air Force all season long. Joey's the miss, bothered by Teske, and now Jordan Poole. Down low, Matthews. And now Michigan rolling. And that's the second time I think Michigan has located kind of a weak spot in that matchup look, going behind that last line of defense. Brasdakis found Poole here, another bounce pass, and an easy conversion at the rim for Michigan. 8 0 run. Michigan Connecting on four of the last five from the field. How about this speed? Eliu, Brooks, the lob to Teske. And a nice job by Teske of slipping that screen, making himself available. Excellent pass right up toward the rim for Teske to catch and convert. But a good job by Michigan of moving not just the ball, but personnel. Ball was on Eli Brooks. 13 foul. Four spacing right now for Air Force in this particular offensive set. Swan with three to shoot over Teske and denied. And another shot clock violation. That was another turnover, Corey. And 
You can see it kind of unfolding because of the poor spacing. That's the first time that Air Force has not done a good job of having proper spacing on the offensive end of the floor. And it certainly did not pay dividends for the Falcons there as they turn it over for the seventh time. Now Matthews, the bounce. Teske knocked away by Scotty, and the Wolverines turn it over. Michigan Dole relying so heavily on the perimeter shot early in this game. Before that turnover, last five possessions, five shots in the paint. And they've connected on four of those last five. So Bresdikas may be able to kind of flash to that high post, and then they may be able to play a little bit of high-low between the freshman and Teske. Backdoor cut, but there's Brooks coming out of nowhere with the block into the seats. Again, the backdoor cut. You sense that the opposition is overplaying a little bit of a back screen there. Really good looking set by Air Force. Just the athleticism of Michigan able to recover defensively. Seven to shoot. And now Tolmes picks up the dribble. There's Scotty with two. Knocked away. And now Brooks has Matthews, and he was tripped from behind and a foul. And he whistled on Tomes. And off the block by Teske, which triggered the break. You know, Matthews is now signaling he wanted the lob, but a really good job by Matthews on that far wing. So many times, Corey, in a transition, you'll see a guy run in a straight line. That allows the backpedaling defender, one defender to guard two. But because Matthews kind of fanned out a little bit, he created that passing opportunity, even though he drew the contact. Michigan has blocked the last three Air Force shots. Three rattles out from Eli Brooks. Matthews, the offensive rebound against two defenders. He was tied up, and he walked. It's a back to Air Force. Michigan by three. So the Falcons eight. And they average 16 per game. And on the year, a minus four turnover margin overall for the Air Force Falcons. But in their last outing, that number went way up as they had a minus 13 turnover margin versus Army. Livers back in for the Wolverines. Met by Poole. Good look. Excellent look out of the double team. There's three up top there. Tall. That's one of the three shots that Air Force has had in quite some time. Poole from the corner again. Missed on his first three threes, but that one falls again. Last six games, shooting over 60% from three on 11 0 Michigan run. Air Force empty. Last nine possessions now. Livers open look up top. And all Teske inside and off the fingertips into the backcourt. And over and back violation gives it back to the Falcons as we go back to Jordan Poole a moment ago, Sean. Nice job by Livers looking ahead. Then the extra pass by Brooks. And what you saw was that little rhythm hop by Poole. What I mean by that is he was getting his feet set as the pass was en route. He didn't catch it standing straight up and down and have to go into a basketball position. He caught it in that position. And then on the next possession going down the floor, Michigan had an opportunity for Teske to score inside. I think that's what Coach Beeline is emphasizing to him. But on the kickout, Livers did not do what Poole did on the previous possession. He caught it straight legged and as a result, left it long. Nice find. That time it was Morris. A bounce pass underneath to Lavelle Scotty. And the first field goal in nearly five and a half minutes for the Falcons. It comes off that back door cut. Nice delivery with that bounce pass. Brandon Johns Jr. on the floor for the first time for Michigan as Teske comes out. And now a near steal from Caleb Morris as he swats it out of bounds. And that'll take us to a timeout here in Ann Arbor. Corey, easy baskets have been few and far between for the Air Force Falcons here in the last four or five minutes. But when the Princeton offense is executed efficiently, you see the result here for the Falcons. The most improved Michigan defender, but Sean, the offense not too shabby either of late. Yeah, picking it up over the last half dozen ball games. As a result, his season stats very impressive. 52% from the floor, 48% from deep, and 82% from the line on his way to averaging 13 per game overall. Cool, the floater. Spun out. 
Tipped around, still loose on the baseline, saved by the Falcons. Great hustle. Great hustle down on that far end by Scotty to keep that play alive for Air Force. So he did it. Caleb Morris brought it up the floor. Up top, Swan hit the deck, and a foul will be whistled on Johns. And three free throws upcoming for the junior from Aurora, Colorado, Ryan Swan. And these three free throws were made possible because of this effort play by Scotty. Now, usually you would say, don't save it underneath your basket, but did you see where he tossed it, Corey? He tossed it toward the corner. He saw his teammate kind of angling that way. You don't want to throw it directly underneath your basket. Headsy play by Scotty leads to three free throw opportunities on the other end. Yeah, you bring up a good point. So many times you see a player panic in that spot, save it, just get it back and play, and oftentimes disastrous if that ball comes back near the basket. So one more to come here for Ryan Swan. Later tonight when the action ends, the big show takes over. Highlights from around the conference, post-game reactions straight from the arena, and in-depth expert analysis. The big show tonight at 10 Eastern right here on DTN. And three of five here on the Big Ten Network today. Wisconsin won earlier. Nebraska, now this one. Indiana coming up next. Then tonight, bragging lights. Missouri, Illinois, St. Louis. Eli Brooks. And of course, that's what was lacking in the first four or five minutes of clock time was attacking off the dribble. You thought you might see the Wolverines start to employ that, and it's paid dividends here over the last six or seven. Brooks has four. And nobody there. Uh, the Falcons turnover number nine gives it back to Michigan. So we'll go back to Brooks a moment ago. With the, you know, the mixing and matching of defenses by Air Force, you saw some stagnant offensive possessions in the first three or four minutes as Michigan was trying to figure it out. They're kind of working the ball around the perimeter. Now they've started to be much more assertive attacking off the dribble. Brooks being the most recent example. Matthews open look for three. Michigan now three of 12 from three. Matthews has five, and Michigan has an eight-point lead. It's largest so far today. And Matthews coming off a game versus Western Michigan, where he's very effective from behind the arc, two or three from deep versus the Broncos. Swan lowers the shoulder, challenges Teske, and too strong off the glass. They need to reverse the ball. There you go. One extra pass. Delivers. And you called it. Eight nothing run. Spacing wasn't great on one side, so keep on passing. And Livers had the look and knocked it down. Timeout Air Force with 5.59 to go in the first half. Really good recognition here of understanding. Now the ball had been stagnant. It stuck. Boom. The extra pass. And what you saw there was a scramble situation defensively by the Falcons. When the ball was stuck on that right side of the floor, and yet kind of a poorly conceived post speed to Teske, rather than give up, they got it out and didn't keep it on the right side of the floor. Three ball reversals without the ball hitting the floor led to an open three in the corner. But it started with reasserting proper spacing. Six players have scored so far for Michigan. 24 points of balance so far. Three players with five. Matthews and Bull. Stake is saw with five. Michigan began the game one of ten from three since three of its last four have gone down. 19-3 run. Struggling offensively. Will that change? It does not. This three up top for Morris. But Morris was fighting his feet on that three. He was fading back. Didn't have his lower body really completely set. Livers, no. Tipped around and louder. Rounds it for the Falcons. Suns coming for Air Force at the next whistle. A lot of subs over there. Usually you say it's a line shift, but a lot of squadron switch. Yes, that's better today. Squadrons at all. Nice job, Teske. And Teske making that happen. Honor of foul, his first. Teske doing a nice job of defending the bigs away. He's moved his feet well. Then when the ball's on the floor, that's a long way for the big fellow to go down there and dig it out, but it gets his team an extra possession. Nice job by Teske of giving himself up. Number five, Chris Jones. Louder now, three turnovers. Air Force has a team of 10. Simpson back in as Poole comes the up. Brooks has played well so far. Three to 
courtside seat for Cassius Winston last night, and now today, Xavier Simpson. Matthews the miss off the back iron and the rebound to Morris. Scotty underneath, and that one goes. That's a difficult oh, shot. No, it's a really difficult shot because I thought Livers did a pretty good job of moving his feet, forcing the difficult angle, and Livers showed his hands so as not to draw the foul in the contact, but a nice delivery. Scotty now with six. Falcons go back to his zone. And Matthews will break that with ease. Again, it's the dribble the penetration rather than do what the defense is designed to kind of guile you into, which is passing it around the perimeter. Michigan, over the last 10 minutes of clock time, has really attacked off the bounce. Solon. Four ten to go, eight to shoot. Chris Joyce from the elbow over Matthews. Smooth stroke. Chris the sophomore from Jacksonville averaging eight per game. And Ben Solon did a pretty good job of, with a little bit of a duck in there and taking away the shot blocking presence of Teske because Van Solon was able to get him on his back. Teske couldn't come over the top and maybe contest that shot more effectively. Works off the fake. The floater falls. Six points, two assists. The sophomore from Spring Grove, PA, Eli Brooks. He's giving them a nice lift. Really nice lift. And the whistle and a double dribble. Call on Caleb Morris and Falcons turn it over for the 11th time. We have a timeout. Happy holidays. Michigan leads by 11. Manager with Michigan a decade or so ago. And Phil Hovich, he stuck around briefly once John Beeline arrived for a few weeks, but then an opportunity came up to join the academy as an assistant coach before becoming a head coach seven years ago. Six to shoot, lost it. Now Joyce in transition. What a block from Matthews. Man, did he get high. Charles Matthews went over the rim. Well, a nice defensive stand by Air Force leads to a breakout opportunity, but Charles Matthews says, I will have none of this for our auto owner's insurance BTN standout. A Karch Karai spike to the front row. His clearance to buzz the tower was denied. <laughs> no flybys here. Off the fake and a foul. Razdek is with the bump. That'll be his first to drive from Mika Akaya. Now, if you're Air Force now and you do get toward the basket, Corey, you have to employ a head and shoulder fake, a shot fake, because. Michigan has rejected so many of your offerings. Guys are going to want to get in on the action. So a head fake may get you a, a much easier shot than just trying to go up in the flow of the game. Michigan's blocked four shots already. Up and under, right on cue, Coach Morris. What are you doing here? Go over there. Oh, uh, no. Come on. No. Go over there. Then I'd have a hairline like yours. <laughs> Which is a bad yes. look. A bad look. Oh, it, but it, you knew that the head fake had to be employed, Corey, because they'd had so many shots blocked. And a nice job by Van Sloan to coming in there and cleaning up the mess. Nine point game, 205 to go until halftime. You know I'm only kidding, you, man. You're my guy. I hear you. DJ Carson and I, we're on the same page. It's a good look for him. I'm trying it. Top. That one doesn't go for Scotty. Falcons are now four, four from three. As Dacus lost his feet, and there's a walk. And turnover number seven. And Michigan gives it back to the Falcons. Stick around. State Farm halftime report coming up. Mike Hall and John Crispin break down the first half. Get you up to speed and all the scores, highlights, and a busy day here on the network and around the conference. The State Farm halftime report coming up. Chicago pull up jumper way off there from AJ Walker. And Corey, how about the job Mike Hall did with that football signing day special? Amazing. I mean, eight hours, and you've got to learn about high school guys from all over the country. Made it look really easy. That is a lot of work. Great job by Mike and the whole crew. Earlier in the week, off the fake, and Brooks turned it over. 
One of the rare mistakes by Brooks off the bench. He has given Michigan a huge lift since he checked into the ball game. Scotty foul is looked like full reach. Danny did. That's his first. Michigan now turnover prone. Selms here last few times on the floor. Three turnovers last four possessions. Brooks comes out to a nice hand as Xavier Simpson is back on the floor. Wolfers only shooting 36% from the field and 11 turnovers. Yeah. And that, again, that has just hurt them so much. And about four or five of the most recent turnovers have been of the live ball variety, which have led to transition opportunities. And a nice job, a better pass than they were scored, but yet Michigan didn't recover defensively. Good execution of understanding when you're going to make that cut, the first guy gave himself up, even though he wasn't able to complete. His teammate came in and helped clean up the mess. Nice job by Air Force. Michigan scoreless, pushing on three minutes here. State Farm halftime report coming up in 35 seconds of game action. Matthews the pull up, no. All Teske inside, had it blocked. Tip back out. And about one second separates the two blocks. Teske fortunate there. He didn't go up strong. And Air Force made him pay. Nice job by Scotty of contesting the much larger Teske. And Michigan's going to call a timeout with 15.1 to go. Timeout, Michigan. Their first charge, timeout. So Michigan led by as many as 11. Seven-point game with 15 seconds to go until halftime. Uh, Michigan undefeated. Six remaining in the country without a loss and. So tough to beat here at home. Last 26 home games, only one loss that came to Purdue back in January of 2018. Look at that note there at the bottom two. Allowing only 59 points per game here at home. What they have done defensively over the last two plus seasons has been really noteworthy. They're still an outstanding offensive team, but for that guy with the clipboard right there, John Beeline, to say, you know what? I'm going to bring in somebody and kind of give them the ability to oversee a significant part of the game that may not be my relative strength compared to what I can bring offensively. First it was Billy Downland, now you block, you, Luke Yaklitz, rather. I, I, you, you never stop learning, you never stop growing. And the fact that three years ago, I don't think anyone would have said that you were going to be talking about Michigan's defensive savvy as something that's going to allow them to beat potentially another Final Four team this season. No shot, Air Force has a few fouls to give. It's the fifth team foul. Yeah, so if you're Air Force, you have to understand, like you said, Corey, time and score, and maybe after a dribble or two, if it gets on the perimeter, give the foul again because you have one more to give before Michigan would go into the common bonus. And so on the foul, his first. And now Matthews with six. And they tried four. to. Yep. Yeah, Smart. Van Solen, he tried to foul yep. Matthews about 35 feet from the floor. And now team foul number six whistled on Scotty. So 4.1 to play. Team six. You cannot lose sight if you're Air Force of cool here. He may be able to inbound and get it back. Yep. Sure enough, he does. He shimmies. It's blocked. And a nice close in the first half from the Falcons, offensively but also defensively. And a couple of hustle plays by Air Force kept possessions alive. But Eli Brooks coming in off the bench gave Michigan a lift, allowing them to extend their lead when things were kind of going south offensively. Seven-point game at the break. Michigan 28, Air Force 21. Stay tuned. The, set, the uh, State Farm Halftime Report coming up from Chicago next. Half about to commence here from Ann Arbor. Welcome back courtside, everybody. With Sean Morris, I'm Corey Probus. Michigan offensively, the game began perimeter base shot after shot they weren't falling then a change was made to attack and much more success yeah the, the match defense that was being employed by Air Force kind of made Michigan stagnant offensively but then when Eli Brooks stepped into the ball game for that was really a difference he gave them a list not just statistically but with his willingness to attack the seams of that defense creating opportunities not just for himself but for teammates and then Charles Matthews able to get involved as well but it started with attacking off the dribble in the first three or four minutes of this game Michigan was content to launch threes after not penetrating the zone see Air Force the first half not a single three went down the points in the paint 
even. You know, Michigan four blocks. The turnovers problematic combined. 20 made field goals. 19 combined turnovers in the first half. And now Air Force begins. Swan, good look, and that's off the side of the backboard. Air Force resets. Nice job by Simpson of taking away that back cut. Scotty underneath and off the glass. Scotty with 10. And a really nice job by Scotty of utilizing that two foot jump stop and then going up. Rather than trying to go off one foot, he was able to gather himself. That made it a much more difficult shot to block. Their first all time against ranked teams has four wins. The last one coming against New Mexico in 2013. New Mexico ranked 12th. Now Poole floating, and this is going to get away. Offensive foul. And Swan took the charge, and Poole picks up number two. Turn in the corner. Nice job of rotating over by Swan and taking the contact outside the restricted area. And that high pick and roll had paid dividends. But in that situation, when Teske rolled after that dribble handoff situation, it took his defender with him. So you saw not just one, but two blue jerseys back there that Poole had to face as he turned the corner with the dribble. Say Livers checks in quickly here in the second half. Matthews comes out. And now Louder around Livers. Challenged by him and a miss. And Brasdick is the rebound and a foul. And this will be on, I believe, Swan. And that's his first. The, number 34. Now, the other thing that stood out Ryan as we looked at those halftime stats, Corey, against a team in Michigan that has far greater size and a far larger number of players that they can rotate along the front line. One thing that kind of hopped out, now it's not glaring, but the fact that the Air Force Falcons outscored Michigan in terms of second chance points, 4 0. At least I found it interesting, Corey. I don't know if anyone else did. <laughs> and now, Michigan with the ball up by five. Oh, they missed it. Oh, man, Teske was wide open. They missed it. Matthews the fade away. Quick rest for Matthews. Coaching back in now with nine points. Matthews averaging 14 per game, coming off a 25.10 rebound performance against Western Michigan on Saturday. Beautiful, beautiful cut. Better defense there from Livers, and he ties him up at last touch by Air Force. I mean, this is just an outstanding cut. It would have been even more effective because you saw the first cut, Corey, and what that did is it took his defender with him. So a guy for Air Force willing to give himself up, that allowed the second cut, kind of that second action as the defense relaxed, a better pass, meaning more toward the baseline, might have allowed for a catch and conversion, but that doesn't take away the beauty of that cut by Air Force. Matthew, similar spot, same result. He's just become so much more confident when he got to Michigan, a tremendous athlete is witnessed by the fact he started his career in Kentucky, but that was a play two years ago. Forget about attempting it, let alone completing it, that mid-range jump shot. Scotty against Teske. Man, a tough angle. His feet about to kind of touch the floor. He got it to go, and he has a dozen points. Tired here. This might be a time to get Teske going. Dan Rosdakis off the glass. Soft touch. And he needed that because over the last two and a half games, kind of struggled shooting the ball. Now seven of his last 23. Shot it very well against Northwestern, but the last two and a half ball games kind of struggled in that part of his game. Seven points now today. Here's Tomes for three. Tom's only a 29% three-point shooter, but that one falls. Falcons over in six. Three of five from the field this half. Michigan has yet to miss. Run off by Tom's. 
Air Force back into the zone. Yeah, a little bit of a matchup here, and this is this is where Michigan struggled. Remember in the beginning of the game, a lot of standing around, but it was the dribble penetration by Frasdakis. He says, I've had enough of that. I'm going to attack the seam. You get the defense going one way, and then kick it back. The zone had kind of lulled them to sleep again in terms of just passing exclusively on the perimeter until they got the ball to the freshman. Second made three for Cole. Now Frasdakis to steal, some contact, and we play on. Frasdakis, oh! the largest today. Holmes to miss and a foul. It's going to be on Poole. And that's number three. Uh, Jordan Poole, but that'll take us to a timeout. Offensively, defensively, Brasdakis hopping the passing angle and then he says, here we go into the wild blue yonder. Send it in for the freshman. In the second half, by Brasdakis, and both have been at the rim, and that's what you need for him. if you kind of struggled shooting the ball. We talked about it at the beginning of this half. It had only been six of his last 22, but he's picked it up, getting a steal in the open floor, but it started with a dribble drive a few possessions prior to that ETN standout. Michigan now five of five from the field this half. There's Tomes off the spin, the fade, left it short, Teske the rebound. Matthews, the kick. Uh, Brooks resets. Well, Brooks has been a nice lift for Michigan today. Really came in and gave them a spark offensively, attacking off the dribble. Brooks has six points. Can he make it nine? No. Rosnick is, for that attempt, responsible for the last seven Michigan points. Dakis nearly had another steal. Maybe got away with an extra step, did Scotty. He's 14 points to lead all scores. Pulled pass, Cross Dakis for three. Rebound pulled down by Caleb Morris. Compare that jump shot in the rotation with the one he started the ball game that he made. The one he made in the far corner had excellent backspin. The two that he's missed from the three-point line have kind of come off his hand funny. As a result, he had side spin. Contrast that with the main three that he had about two or three minutes into the ball game. Well, on Simpson is first. Getting back to Brasdakis, and we asked John Beeline before the game about the freshman class. He said he knew from day one that among his freshmen that Brasdakis was ready to play. And along the baseline, and a bump is going to be whistled on Brooks. And that's his second. Rosdakis, he's older than his fellow freshman, about nine months older. He played internationally. As we look at the bump here from Brooks, he disagreed, but it'll be his second. And Air Force kind of fortunate that the little chicken wing wasn't called either. I'm a big fan of that, but he needs to stay in the restaurant, Corey. Not on the floor. That's not on the floor. Five to shoot. Joyce, and he's fouled. Second time today, an Air Force player has been fouled in a three-point shot. It was Swan earlier. Now Simpson fouls Joyce. Second foul on Simpson. Three free throws are coming for Chris Joyce. He's 17 of 20 at the line this year. At the line is shooting three for Air Force number five. So in a span of what? A few seconds, we saw Simpson pick up two fouls and Brooks pick up a foul. Three free throws here for Chris Joyce. And the first now three of six at the line. 67% on the year from the line for the Falcons. Hello, postseason long, BTN Live, and the big show deliver in depth bowl coverage, including game previews, interviews, and post game analysis from the people who know the conference best. Don't miss Big Ten bowl coverage on BTN Live and the big show all 
All season long, here on the Big Ten Network, and now off and miss a foul. And this is whistled on the bell, Scotty, after Brasdakis corralled the rebound. And really a missed opportunity for the Air Force Falcons, Corey. They had three shots, and you had your best foul shooter, Chris Joyce, up there at 85%, and he only goes one of three. She's the foul. It's on Van Solen, not Scotty. Teske screen. He rolls. Dick has lost it. Got it back. Now Simpson with seven. The in the repertoire of every 40 year old guy. Nice <laughs> job Xavier Simpson. The shot clock winding down. Simpson had to create and gives Michigan a 10 point lead. How about using the backboard with a good Dr. Naismith and vision. A similar play against Western Michigan last time out. And can the Falcons answer they do as Morris off the window. And a nice job by Morris of getting his shoulder into the larger player Brasdakis. That allowed enough daylight for him to get it up there on the backboard. Morris healthy. He battled some injuries earlier this year to his tailbone and ankle during his eighth game. Falcons at four and six. Again, their first game in two weeks. Matthew spins and hammers it down. You can see that one coming on the spin. They thought he was going to come back in the middle of the floor. Matthews baited him and then spun away from contact with the completion. And the block was pretty first half. That was even better. Now, the foul inside. Whistled on Teske. And that's his second. Xavier Simpson, they may have had recent finals. But with that shot, one of them must have been in geometry because he understood angles. How about this? You get the defender going one way. Van Solen thought he was going to come back in the middle of the floor, spun away from contact. Two really impressive offensive sequences by the Wolverines. Livers in, Teske out. Swan posting up Rosdakis. And this shot by Simpson is one of my favorite I've seen in a long time. As the up and under oh, move oh, that you thought that Air Force had a chance to utilize in the first half, and now we see it here in the second half from Swan. This is not a complicated game for you. Not an easy game, but it's a simple game. For three. Isaiah Livers at 46%. That's his second made three here today. Better shooting on both sides this half. That pivot foot looked like it moved. No call. Joyce challenging Matthews. Spun out. And now Michigan wants to push it quickly. Works off the fake. Sets up Matthews. Wide open up top. Joyce gets around Simpson, challenged by Livers, knocked out, and it'll be Michigan ball. Corey, the game doesn't have to be played above the rim. And somewhere in the great basketball beyond, George Mikan, Bob Curlin, and no, I didn't see them play, are smiling. <laughs> nice job by Xavier Simpson using the window. Sure, you didn't see that play. In conference is the Falcons out of the Mountain West and St. John's. Chris Mullen has a really good team. Some outstanding shooters. Saw them earlier this year. Clobber Rutgers at the rack. Two of the undefeateds fell last night. Buffalo losing against Marquette. Marcus Howard had 45 points, 40 in the second half. And LSU beat Furman last night. Ross Dick is out of the timeout for three. Corey, did you notice the rotation on the make? On the misses, there was side spin. That was identical to the one he, with which he started the ball game. Caught it, his elbow was underneath. As a result, he had excellent backspin. Nice job by Brasdakis of adjusting. Largest lead today for Michigan. Brasdakis with 12. Back to Orban. Solon goes up. How about the delivery on the bounce pass and then the athleticism of Van Solon to go up in traffic off two feet? Uh, some pieces of the Princeton offense, no doubt, in the Air Force repertoire, and that was textbook. But there's the answer from the Livers. 
Michigan on fire here this half. And that trend continues. Wolverines have hit on their last three from three. Another backdoor cut off the fingertips and not able to hang on. A.J. Walker, turnover number 14, gives it back to Michigan. Well, just an excellent precision play here by Air Force. You dribble, it's an automatic dive. Brasdakis gets caught, ball watching. Van Solen senses that. Then an excellent bounce pass, Corey, led the taller player, Van Solen. It was above his waist, allowing him to catch, gather, and not allow the defense to come over with the two-handed flush. Michigan five of six from the field. Can Matthews add to it? No. Matthews 13 points. He's had another good game, but that one did not fall from the corner. Whistle and a foul. This is going to be another one on Simpson. That's number three. Yeah, he's picked those up in pretty rapid order here in the second half. This game being played here today. As Eli Brooks checks back in for Michigan. The contract was signed years ago. Two football games at the Big House next door. Air Force trips to the Big House. And then one basketball meeting, part of the contract, which is finalized today with this meeting. And certainly the ties that uh, Dave Filipovich has with Michigan. He and John Beeline. A lot of mutual respect between those two head coaches to get it done. And that's happening today. And even though some of the shots have gone wanting, where it's been really fun to watch yeah. this game between, between two extremely well-coached teams. Strip of the foul. Reach on A.J. Walker, freshman from San Antonio. Okay, this second. A.J. Walker. Well, the cadets, upon graduating, will become second lieutenants. Checking in for Air Force number 12, Lavelle Scotty. out the elbow only five to shoot and yep. walked that's an excellent call air force basketball and i want to thank the officials for calling it if i wanted to watch an nba game i tuned in to watch that <laughs> i mean james harden was playing twister the other night now watch him he picks up his foot that's a travel he moved back trying to create space excellent call and that's the goal 10. that's cool sorry that's uh, rivers did you see that James Harden play? I, I've heard about it, yeah. and uh, it's kind of a, you know, get off my lawn oh, kind of thing, right? Uh, yeah, right? well, I've got plenty of those, right. but, you know, James Naismith was rolling over watching that. He said, hey, if I don't want the guys to run, walk, skip with the ball, I'd have put it in the rule book. Rosdakis. Miss. Delivers the offensive rebound. Passing nice. here for Michigan, Brasdakis gets the roll. Excellent spacing as well, Corey. They were able to corral it and work it from side to side. Nice job by Michigan in the half court. First, second chance points all night for Michigan. Nice catch. Left hand stolen with the left hand. Ooh, how about the catch? That was behind him. Nice job. Falcons not going away. No, they've, they've attributed themselves well here today. Bull knocks down his third three. And his outstanding shooting over the last two plus games continues here. Who rapidly approaching 50% conversion rate on the season came in shooting 48%. And now Michigan this half alone, five of ten from three. There's Joyce around pool blocked and a foul. Poole disagrees, but that's number four on the sophomore. John Beeline looks on. His team is up 15 here at home. And usually that's a result of trying to use too much wrist or your elbow's not completely under. Excellent job by our crew to capture that. Another miss there from Joyce. Now two of four at the line. I'm sorry. Yeah, two of four at the, I'm sorry, one of four at the line so far today and a really good free throw shooter. Connects on the second. Check it in for your four zero, Caitlin Morris. Caitlin Morris, junior from Vista, California, returns. 
And Joyce will sit. And Air Force, they employed this a little bit in the first half on a dead ball situation, trying to extend the defense a little bit, give Michigan something different to think about. But you know, now, you know, it, it served its purpose. You're not really in your half court set now, and half the shot clock has elapsed. Simpson, two points, five assists. Shot clock under 10 for Matthews. There's Livers, baseline, kicking. Simpson, open look for three. Tipped around, and it's into the hands of Livers, and Michigan resets. Boy, that's a backbreaker if you're Air Force. That extension of the defense served its purpose, just not able to clean up with the rebound. As Dick is in between those blue jerseys, he has a game high 16 points. And how about the ability of that young man to finish at the rim with either hand? You have two hands for more than just a matching set of gloves, Corey. You right. can score with either hand. That There's no rule against that. should be a part of it, right? Yes. That's off the knee and a turnover up the floor. Matthews jumping, catching, and Ooh, he missed foul. Simpson. That's a rare opportunity that you see kind of go by the wayside by Michigan in the open floor. And that was a difficult catch with Matthews as the pass had a lot of air under it. He had to do you know, kind of a baseball catch over the shoulder. But he missed Xavier Simpson down here to the left. And I think they're discussing. Well, was on Lavelle Scotty, his second. So now Matthews at the line. Michigan. This will be free throw attempt number three. And now. Connected in all three. Las Vegas, the other two. Michigan, 11 and 0 for the fourth time in program history. And the previous three occasions turned out pretty well. 85, 86, Big Ten title. And it all, 88, 89. National runner-up, 2012, 2013 season. Nice and straight other way. Nice, and nice communication by Michigan made that possible. Between Matthews and Simpson, they didn't get kind of caught up in all that dribble handoff situation. You see the communication. They talk on the switch. The screen's not set. But if those two guys, Matthews and Simpson, aren't talking, that opportunity to draw the illegal screen is not there. Scotty's third turnover number 16. Again, Air Force turned it over 19 times two weeks ago in a loss to Army. Back into a matchup zone. Matthews thought about it. Now will launch for three. And short, the rebound is Sid Tomes. He kind of got baited into that, Corey. You know, they gave him a gap, did the Air Force Falcons, understanding they'd much rather have him out there be from behind the arc than beating them off the dribble. Eight to shoot. Baseline, Scotty, short, got it back, puts it up and scores. It started with a really nice post entry feed, and again, Air Force just continuing to battle and hang around. Scotty, 16 points for the Falcons. Team high. Reaching Brasdakis with a game high, 16 points. Simpson, too strong. Almost looked like a pass off the window. Matthews there to clean it up. Matthews, 15 points. Under five to play. Morris lost it. Here's Matthews, two on one. The lob is Simpson spun out. Remember two possessions ago? I think Simpson and Matthews were talking about, hey, I was open. Matthews said, okay, here you go. Now miss from Tomes. And Livers has it for Michigan. Two on one with opposite guys. You'd have Simpson lobbing it up for Matthews. Might have had a different result. Yeah, maybe. Oh, look, skip the reverse. Brosdake is from the corner. And again, the backspin, fantastic. But the ball reversal, superlative. Simpson catches it, it doesn't stick, and then he hits Brosdake is right in the shooting pocket. Now 
far whistle on Sid Holmes, and that'll take us to a timeout. Under four to play, Michigan. Up by 21 points. Rosdikis, 19. That young man's main threes have had that in common, and a wonderful delivery by Simpson, getting it right into the shooting pocket. The sixth assist on the afternoon for Simpson, only one turnover. Delivers the miss. Prostek is stripped by Tolmes. David DeJulius on the floor for Michigan for the first time, the freshman guard. And he hits the deck, and this will get away. Joyce with a shove. Julius draws the foul. Nice job by DeJulius moving his feet, but I think he also saw a little bit of frustration there by Joyce. We talked about it earlier, Corey. This is a guy that came in shooting north of 80% from the foul line and uncharacteristically has missed a number here this afternoon. 18 turnovers and 15 points off those turnovers. There's Matthews. Another solid game. 17 points and 7 rebounds. Can he add to it? No. Tipped around. And here come the Falcons and A.J. Walker. And he had his pocket picked by Simpson. Simpson, the lob. Oh! How sweet was that? Simpson somehow saw Livers. A finger roll lob and Livers did the rest. Yeah, Simpson, active hands. Turnover number 20. Air Force, four straight possessions and four turnovers. And what do we have? We have, we have the timeout. BTN standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. A turnover in the open floor and a nice job by Simpson lobbing it up toward the rim. John Beeline taking a timeout. Final 232, Michigan having fun. We're at home. It's Indiana and this guy, Jawan Morgan, a fellow who two games ago dropped 35 points for the Hoosiers. They look to get their 11th win of the season as they take on Jacksonville. That game about 20 minutes away from tipping off right here on BTN. We'll take you out there next. For now, back out to campus with Corey and Sean. Hi, right, Mike. Thank you. Final 232 from the Chrysler Center. Again, in the open floor, Simpson with the lob, and here comes Livers, the colon, and essentially the whole digestive tract <laughs> coming down on the Air Force Falcons. Yeah, Livers, 11 points, six rebounds, a couple of steals. Off the bench here today. Adrian Nunez on the floor for Michigan now. Julius is fouled. He will shoot two. Walker picks up the foul. So two free throws upcoming for the freshman. Julius is one of two at the line. And some stories this week. Ah, the young man about to shoot here at the Julius. He is just using his time as he's playing for the eighth time this season. Just watching, learning, studying. Xavier Simpson. Uh, he breaks down film, how he approaches each game, and that's a smart play. Much like that young man Xavier Simpson did learning behind Derek Walton Jr. Derek Walton Jr., what was so impressive about him, such a good rebounder, too. Yeah. Just a great rebounding guard. And Johns Jr. saw him briefly in the first half, number 23 for Michigan back of the floor, and that's off the body of the Kick it in for Colin Castleton, freshman from Daytona Beach. Number 11 for the Wolverines on the floor right now. Joyce for three, rattled around and in. Chris Joyce for three. 20 point game. Michigan about to go to 12 0 on the year. Michigan has another non-conference game coming up here against Binghamton next weekend, and then conference play resumes. And Michigan will be here for two home games, Penn State, Indiana, early January. It's John Beeline sit back and relax as his team perform well again. 
defensive side. Air Force 20 turnovers today. This is such a difficult team for which to prepare, meaning the Air Force Falcons, because of the stuff that they run offensively. You know, it's kind of like if you're playing football, you don't see the wishbone that much. And then you have to kind of get used to utilizing some defensive patience because if you get overly aggressive defensively, you get carved up with a backdoor cut. Nick Renee to miss, and now whistle and going to go towards Michigan. Nunez for three. Castleton able to corral the rebound. And one. Second made field goal in his collegiate career. Now two of seven. And one here for Colin Castleton. Castleton able to utilize his size. The position was there, but they didn't completely seal off Castleton by having the hands up and the body completely into Castleton. And a nice job of utilizing the left hand. And that's a good sign for Castleton because you know every day in practice he's going up against John Teske. And those opportunities are probably few and far between. Comes down his second free throw of the year. Walk on C.J. Baird. 6'5 sophomore. On the floor for Michigan for the final 45 seconds. Air Force going to its bench. Zach Cooper on the floor, number two for the Falcons. Dave Kinraid, number 15. The shot goes off the glass. Kinraid out for the seventh time. Freshman for the Falcons. Michigan shooting 55% from the field this half. Baird for three. And Nunez runs down the rebound. Shot clock is off, and Michigan will dribble out the remaining seconds. A fun atmosphere. Chrysler Center sold out for the fifth consecutive time. Nearly 13,000 on hand as Michigan improves to 12 0. Knocking off the Air Force Academy 71 to 50 as the Falcons fall to 4 and 7 on the year. A balanced attack from the Wolverines again. Brasdakis 19.